All right, so today we are gonna be vinyl wrapping the window trim. Um, I'm using 3M 2080 series, it's a matte black film. I got these, it's about two inch by 25 inch roll. I, the window trims are pretty slim, so I'm just like cutting, this is what it looks like the tape. I basically just cut it down the middle, get two sheets, spread it across more windows. Um, we started by cleaning the windows with a little alcohol, get the grime off and allow it to dry. And then I tape prep the windows and I kind of got started here, um, but basically just ran the tape along the bottom. So when I'm cutting later on, I don't scratch the paint. And then basically just started laying this down straight on the edge here. Um, the side of the tape that was not hit by the razor is pretty straight, so I just ran it along across. Um, just started setting it down here, a little extra to cut off, and just matched it all the way across. That only took about a minute or two. And then now I'm using the little squeegee tool it came with to kind of start folding it down. Um, we'll go across that just like this. You know, push in the edges, get the bottom in all the way. And then when I cut, I'm just going to make sure I cut more towards the bottom because the chrome itself, like, rolls around just a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, I just want to make sure we get, like, the whole bottom included on there as well. You can see the reflection right there. Let's see. Well, that's where the chrome is. So we'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll give you guys a little update so far. Super easy. This only took like a minute or two so far, and I layered it on the edge on the top that way. I don't have to run the razor blade along the little window crease here. But we'll give you guys a little update in a second. Okay, so we have it all creased down now, maybe a little bubble right there. I'll try to flatten out. Um, and then we're going to start trimming the lower edge. Again, the top edge, I just kind of laid straight directly on the edge there. So just the corner of the tape here. I basically just matched it up. Oops, let me see. Right there, so just matched up this edge just straight along here and then slowly placed it until I went all the way across. And then pretty easy. Fold it over, used the little squeegee tool, went across like this, and then finally came in for the bottom and pushed it in. Run that all the way along. Let's see. Just like that. And you know, squeegee this last bit in, and then I'll do a little incision there. One along the bottom, and I'll take off the tape and give you guys the after results. All right, so I'm using a number 15 scalpel, but you can see I just lay it in here, run it along the little pocket. Let's see. Cut it at the bottom so that we can flap over the little ledge. Go all the way through to the end. And I'll cut here and I'll take the tape off. All right, so now we're just peeling back the excess vinyl after the incision. And then I'll take this off and we'll tuck it in all the way. All right, so we have it all done here. Honestly, that was significantly easier than doing the hyper dip on the logos, much less time for the amount of surface area. But let me show you results. So it's very nice. It's like pretty seamless. It's a nice match with the current matte black. We just got one done. That took about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes, but at the same time, I've just been recording. And that was the first one, so these ones should go a little bit faster. Again, tricky one is gonna be doing this because my tape doesn't really match that. I either might get a big sheet for it or use that hyper dip spray um, to get these uneven wide edges here. But yeah, so far, it's looking very slick. 
like you can't really tell that was done in a garage <laughs> by someone who's never worked with vinyl before. All right, so far this top one's going on even easier. I just, same thing, laid up one border exactly with the bottom all the way across. Um, you know, you just match up the straight side all the way to the edge of the chrome. Let's see if we can zoom in. So it goes along pretty easily. If there's a little excess, you can like push it into the crease with your nail. Um, and then this top part actually didn't even need any trimming or like razor trimming. You just fold it over and then the chrome has like a little lip under here. So if you just like run your thumb along here, it just cuts the vinyl really easily, which is what we're doing here. Let's see if I can, so you can see that strip. And then see if I can focus here. Yeah, so I'm just like, this is the excess, you see that lip. So I just like running my thumb under here. It just cuts it along the crease. And then you just like peel it out. Pretty easy, so just pushing in. I don't know if you heard that little pop. Just running all the way across. And then this just kind of peels out. And then that leaves you with like a perfect finish. Goes all the way inside. It's tucked underneath into the crevice. And then you just have to cut. All right, so here is the final look. With everything vinyled in matte black can see we took it all the way down into the corner sorry it's a little dirty from the rain all the way around the edges and then this back piece I did with a wider sheet of vinyl I'll link those in the description below you can see pretty seamless on the edges here and then same thing on the other side so pretty nice finish overall and yeah just follow those instructions you do need a little bit of precision with the hands but it's not too terrible to do it yourself in my opinion it was easier than hyper dipping the logos that went a little bit faster these are pretty easy to hyper dip as well uh, but yeah pretty simple job thank you guys for watching hope you guys like the results so far and sorry it took so long to put this portion of the video out we didn't get a lot of views on the hyper dip so i wasn't sure but i got a lot of comments wanting to see how i did the vinyl so i just wanted to finish up this portion of the video that i recorded a lot earlier thank you guys like and subscribe in the future i am thinking to add some fog lights and maybe a little bar to the front of my car i do notice these reflector leds are not as bright as I would like them to be, especially on rainy days. It might be because my windows are tinted a little bit, but sometimes it is a little hard to see at night. So I was thinking of getting some diode dynamic fog lights and installing those where my license plate used to be. Um, yeah, let me know if you'd like to see an installation video for those. Have a good one, bye.